Hello and welcome to 50 Days of Keynote, 50 Things You Can Create for the Classroom, brought to you today by me, Alicia Bankhofer. Today I'm going to show you how to use Keynote to create info screens. Info screens are visual displays that you can use for exhibitions and they, because they're independent, they don't need you, they self-play, but they inform your visitors about your message and they advertise or communicate what it is you want to say. Keynote is really ideal for this because you can, can just create your own message, personalize it, you can animate the slide, you can animate objects, you can put it in video, and it's an ideal info screen because you can set it to loop. You can, of course, use it for different things in school, science fair, for example, if you have an exhibition, you can have a lovely display, or if you have a product presentation where each student has a table, you can use the iPad with Keynote on it just to give some background information on your project. So here's an example where I can show you how just this presentation just uses an animation of the titles to give a little dynamic. It's really easy to do. In this presentation, you see how magic move can be used to create some really dynamic visuals just on the topic of creativity. You can move them from slide to slide and because the same elements are used on, from each slide, you can see how it grows. So it gives a really eye-popping and attractive presentation. And here I'm going to show you how to combine both effects. So hi, let's take a look at what kind of animations I've built into this presentation. On the first slide, I tap on the slide and then I tap on transition. So you can see here I've added a push um, transition to the slide or to this one whereby you can decide which direction you want to push from so in this case it's right to left and then from then on I have built in magic move transitions into the presentation because I want the objects to zoom in and zoom out which is really easy to do from slide to slide I'll show you the finished product in a minute at the end of the presentation, I've built in another transition it's called dissolve this can also be um, customized to your preference. So it's dissolve, 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 and that's it. So let's take a look at what the presentation looks like. Of course, before you set up the presentation, you should set it to autoplay by just tapping on settings, then on presentation type, then on loop slideshow, then you can set it to self-playing and you can choose how long the delays should be. So here's the finished info screen, just a bit of it, so you can get an idea of how things move. So they zoom in and they zoom out. Then you have the lovely dissolve effect, which looks really cool and communicates a really dynamic message. There you have it. That's 50 days of Keynote. All videos are on Padlet and all Keynote flies are here. Bye now.